right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, Ken, thanks very much. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a Friday night edition of the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. You can reach in and call us at 412-575-2600. That is the number of the Bordis and Bordis hotline. Also, tweet me at KD Pomp. We have a lot to get into. The Penguins under Mike Sullivan have never been down 0-2 in a series until tonight. The New York Islanders matched and at times exceeded the Penguins' uh, energy level, which was ramped up after game number one. But New York came away with another stingy effort. They were good at keeping the puck out of the net. That has been their calling card all season. They led the NHL in fewest goals allowed, and that's what we saw again tonight. Islanders win 3-1. They trailed in this game 1-0. The Penguins scored first on a goal by Erica Branson, and then all of a sudden things changed. Uh, we saw a, a physical, chippy game, and after uh, Anthony Beauvillier scored on a rebound, uh, these Islanders are going to the net hard. He gets it to make a 1-1. There was a scrum that featured a lot of big hits. Uh, some penalties resulted. And then on the power play, and the power plays were ineffective for the most part for both teams. I think the Penguins only had a couple of chances, uh, and they didn't make good on them. The Islanders had six, and they also had a five-on-three, and they didn't make good until the very end when Josh Bailey came in and turned it over backhand, forehand to beat Matt Murray, and the Penguins couldn't do anything after that. So, down two games to none. The level of panic has now increased. That doesn't mean this series is over. The Penguins have to take this as a one-game a series in a row. They just have to look at it, win Sunday, and go from there. But they have to win Sunday, you would think. You don't want to fall three-zip down unless, unless they want to reverse the script on the New York Islanders from 1975 as a payback to a 3 nothing series <laughs> loss. They led the Islanders. Gary Innes was back in goal, I believe, back in that series. It was Eddie Westfall who scored very late in Game 7. They won four straight games. But the Penguins don't want to tempt fate. That's hard to do. But clearly in this game, the Penguins uh, played better than they did in game one when they were too loose, I think, off the puck. And as a result, now the Penguins are down two zip. But that's not the only surprising development. Who would have thought Columbus would be up two games to none on their opponent, Tampa, the President's Trophy, which ran away with all the success in the regular season, 127 points. And guess what? Tampa Bay is under a lot of fire right now. They lose tonight 5-1. to one. On top of that, their leading scorer and MVP candidate, Nikita Kucherov, took a real stupid penalty that might result in him being suspended for game number three as that shifts back to Columbus, Ohio. What a night it was in the NHL. We're here to talk about it, and like I said, in my mind, this series is not over. The Penguins need to win on Sunday and then go from there, but they've got to put pressure on New York, who's playing with house money right now. They've, they've held serve at home. Robin Leonard was great. I thought Matt Murray played really good for large portions of this game until the end. You know, they got some great chances. I don't think there's any doubt about it. The, the rebound to Beauvillier, they, he made the original save and not the rebound. So we have a lot to get into. I'd like to get your take on this. Also tonight, the Pirates are, I don't know if it's a final yet or not, but they were winning 6-3 on a three-run home run by Colin Moran in the top of the 10th inning. After they had a lead, blew it, and then they had to go to extra innings. And Keona Kelly gave up a home run to Anthony Rendon, which tied the game in the eighth. Pirates go to extra innings, and it is the final now, 6-3 your final score. All right, so we have a lot to get in. Paul Zeiss of the Post-Gazette is going to be here. We will take your calls, 412-575-2600. like to hear from you. This is your place to sound off. And a reminder to you, tomorrow, Pittsburgh Riverhounds, home opener. They're just coming off a big win against Louisville City SC, the defending champs. So they'll be at home for the first time. They played the first four on the road. like to see you out there at Highmark Stadium. That one begins at 7 p.m. We'll take your calls next, right here live on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, Pittsburgh CW. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, celebrating 25 years as Pittsburgh's number one home exterior expert in roofing, siding, windows, and gutters, where honesty and integrity still matter. 